everybody, it's David here with my responses to the Hot Ones Horror Edition Challenge questions that I have as part of my 800 subscribers contest. These are five horror-centric questions for you all to answer. Uh, if you answer through the comments section in the contest announcement video, you will get one entry, but you can increase your chances by doing a video like this and you will get two entries. The first question was, what is your favorite horror movie artwork. I can remember going to the video store as a kid, walking up and down the aisles, looking at the different artwork on the horror releases, and one that really caught my attention early on was Hellraiser. Uh, seeing Pinhead with the nails in his head and just wondering what that story was, how did he get like that, was intriguing to me, and it's just always been one that stuck with me. Now granted, I'm not the biggest fan of the Hellraiser franchise. I like the first two movies. The rest are hit or miss, mostly misses. But yeah, seeing the artwork for Hellraiser 1 has just always been one that's stuck with me through the years. Question number two. What is a piece of music in a horror movie that you think is, is, is great? And that's not John Carpenter. Everyone seems to give the canned response of Halloween. Yes, that's a great piece of music, but I'm a little carpenter fatigued at the moment. So I want to hear what are some other composers that you enjoy the music for in horror movies. And for me, that's going to be Wojciech Kilar's Bram Stoker's Dracula score. The cellos and the bass just are really somber and just set the mood for the movie and the tone for the movie. It's, it's one that I listen to frequently. I enjoy it quite a bit. It puts me in a good mood. Uh, so yeah, Bocha Kilar's Dracula. Question number three is where things get a little more spicier. I want to know what is your horror hot take? And by hot take, I mean what is your unpopular opinion about a horror movie or horror movie franchise? And for me, I'm going to say The Omen is... The best horror movie from the 70s. Yes, outdoing The Exorcist. Whoa, whoa. I know The Exorcist is heralded as the greatest horror movie of all times, but to me it plays more like a drama. I mean, we don't get to see anything really horrific until the last 20 minutes of the movie, whereas with The Omen, it's, it's better paced. Uh, you, you've got the nanny jumping out the window, the mom falling from the banister, Damien's father trying to find these knives and, and toying with the idea of having to sacrifice his son. It's just, it's a better horror movie in my opinion. Question number four, remakes. Remakes, remakes, remakes. The ideal pool seems to have all but dried up and all we get anymore are remakes and requels. So I want to know what is a movie that you feel deserves a remake or what is a movie that you feel does not need a remake? And I'm going to go that route. I don't feel like we need a remake to The Lost Boys. That movie is iconic. It's flawless. It's aged well. The performances from Kiefer Sutherland, Diane Weiss, Edward Herman, Corey Haim, and the rest of the cast... It's just, it's perfect in my opinion. I don't feel like there's anything new to bring to the table. Uh, we don't need a, a new greased up saxophone player in 2024. So yeah, Lost Boys, leave it alone. Do not touch it, especially you, Blumhouse. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Leave it alone. And the fifth and final question if you could meet a celebrity, alive or dead, who is at the top of your bucket list? For me, I would like to meet Kiefer Sutherland. He's one of my favorite actors. I enjoyed him in Lost Boys, of course, the Young Guns movies, Flatliners, Mirrors. But uh, I don't think he does the horror con circuits all that much. And I know he doesn't come anywhere close to Kentucky, where I live. And I don't foresee myself traveling to the West Coast and going to any of those cons. So one that's more realistic and I'm hoping will happen next month is the opportunity to meet Nick Castle, the original Michael Myers. 
Uh, I know for sure he's going to be there, at least tentatively. So I'm looking forward to getting to meet Nick. I've watched several interviews with him. He's a very down-to-earth kind of guy. And uh, yeah, just it would be cool to meet the OG Michael Myers. Those are my responses. Again, you have until the end of this month to submit your responses. Comments will get you one entry. You can increase your chances by doing a video like this. And then I will draw a winner sometime the first week of October. So best luck to everyone. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all are doing well. And until next time, take care. Thanks.